Good morning. This morning, I turned on my news, and we are in the beginning of April. Today's like the third, and more restrictions for this virus is coming every single day. This morning, I heard that they want us to wear masks where before they were saving them all for the health care workers. Now they're advising every resident, if you go out to the grocery store, pharmacy, essential places where you're out and about, please keep your social distancing and wear a mask of some sort. We're going to try and not use all of our healthcare essential masks that they need. So I thought of a way today that I could help by sharing a few little items that you may already have in your house. As long as you have, if you have a handkerchief, that even will work. Just keep your face covered when you go out. Um, so I found a few things and I'd like to share them with you today. And maybe you could, when you're home, if you have children, they could make their own also. The main thing is that you want your nose and you know your face area covered when you're out getting groceries or medicines. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make it and you only need three things. And those three things are a good roll of paper towels, which hopefully everyone has at least a roll of paper towels. The thicker ones like Vivia or Bounty um, seem to have a little bit better um, texture to them. They're not as cheapy made as your generic brand. So I think those would probably hold up a lot better if you have those. If not, please use what you have. This is Bounty, by the way. And you'll need a stapler, an everyday stapler. Two rubber bands. These rubber bands are at least three and a half inches in length. You want them long enough so they can go over your ear area and not be so tight, but to hold the mask onto your face. So you'll need two of those. And you could probably get those like at the dollar store or you can check online. Hopefully you'll be able to find some. If not, take two of your smaller sizes and tie them jointly together to make one larger one if you don't have this particular size. There's always a way around it. So you can tie two small ones together to make it be this size, or if you have this size, great. So we're going to need a stapler, two rubber bands. Now, most of your paper towels um, come with that perforated um, half sheet. Bounty does. Most of them do. If not, you can use it. Excuse me, I gotta turn the phone off. Call from Jenny Mother. Sorry. Okay, the phone always rings when you're recording. It's okay. Um, so what you'll want to do, you can double this up if you want to, but it's gonna make it pretty thick over your face. So I'm going to just tear this in half. It's already perforated, so you can take it and tear you, you could have two. You can make two. But we're just going to show you how to make the one. Okay, so you're going to take your 
your sheet and you're going to take it the long way not this way but this way and you're going to start folding like you're going to make a paper fan and you're just going to keep flipping back and forth Let me move that so you can see, I'm sorry. Just like you're making a paper fan when you were in school, when you were young. And then when you get to the, to the end of your paper towel, it's probably like three or four of them. You'll have it just like that. Then you're going to take one end and you're going to fold over just enough like so, like that. And then you're going to take your one rubber band and you're going to slide it over top of that, that end so that you're, you're going to go just like this. Lay it flat here. Press your end piece. Take your stapler and give yourself two good staples. That way you have your end for your, for your ear. Now we're gonna go down to the other end Fold, crease it, like so. Take your other rubber band, fold, make sure your rubber band's out of the way before you staple up in, you're gonna staple up in here, not back here. Take your stapler, One, two. You now have a mask, face mask that you can wear when you are out. And I'm just gonna demonstrate. I took my glasses off because I wear glasses, but um, we are going to take it we're going to put this on. Take your two fingers. And spread it apart and there you go you now have a fast face mask it's breathable it works and you can redo them to save your rubber bands if you need to make a new one if this gets dirty or breaks but at least you will be covered when you go out into the public or if you're around elderly if you have a family member that's elderly that you are re you know taking care of you'll want to wear this mask of some sort
That way, you are preventing any spread of germs. Well, I hope that this will help you so that you can make one and maybe help others that you know that can't get out or have the necessary tools. Maybe you can make them one. Leave it at their doorstep. Share if you can. Well, thank you and may we all pray together, encourage each other, bless one another, and thank all your first responders for helping keep us safe. May God bless you and may we all come out of this together. We'll see you soon. God bless you.